All right, guys, we're gonna be starting off this video out front, take a quick look around the house, and then we'll head inside. So uh, I think originally these were probably garage doors here. Take a look at that inside. Front porch, some nice like details and stuff around the door. Columns, sort of like a colonial style house, I guess. I'll try to find out when it was built. Let's head around and take a quick look in the backyard. Is the gate gonna be open? Okay, I guess that one is. Looks like we have a pretty cool sunroom. I think this, one, this one's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited to get inside. Very large house. Nice big property. Pretty nice deck here as well. So yeah, that's about it to see you out here. Not gonna spend too long outside, so without any further ado, let's get inside, see what we can find out about this place. All right, guys, we just made it inside the front door here. Um, already have some pretty interesting wallpaper, very interesting light switch cover. So yeah, I just randomly found this house. I don't know anything about it. Um, so we'll try to find out when it was built. I'm already thinking maybe like 40s, 50s, something like that. Um, we'll take a look around and see. So here's the front door. Just to the right, you have the staircase. Nice wrought iron banister. And yeah, so this is what you see when you come in the front door. Give this step down into like a living room area. We'll head down there in a few minutes. Yeah, I like how there's like the glass door with the little front entryway. Looks like a slate floor possibly too. This calendar, December 2022, so I guess that's when they moved out. So as you guys saw outside, there's the demolition fences, right? This is gonna be coming down very soon. It's gonna be replaced with a brand new house. Probably a lot bigger than this. I've got these pictures up on the wall. Hmm. Wonder if those are worth anything. What are these made out of? It? Hmm. It's like some kind of like Japanese or Asian art. It's interesting. Nice hardwood floors here as well, although they definitely have seen better days. Would have been nice. Very old couch. Yeah, so this is one way to get upstairs. I'll show you guys here. I think we'll go up the main staircase, but you have second staircase here, which also makes me think this house is a bit older. I don't know, we'll, we'll look at some features throughout the home, see what we think. Okay, so you have a bathroom here, and then it goes out into this other room. Now, I believe this was definitely a garage originally. I think they replaced the garage doors with these double doors. You guys saw that outside, right? It's definitely what I'm thinking, that it was a garage. You have this door which goes out into the backyard. Yeah, there's a lot of like tools and things left behind here. So I guess they were, they definitely, you know, did some kind of construction contract or something. A lot of just random stuff left behind. Stuff they didn't want or maybe they, were, they had to leave in a hurry. They may have only been given a short amount of time to move out. So yeah, it's interesting to see the stuff that's left behind. Got some 
more boxes of stuff here. But what I like about these houses is, you, like, you never know what you're, you're going to find in these, right? So it's interesting. Look at all those bags just, like, falling apart. Is the chainsaw still in there? No. Wow, look at the dust on the walls. So yeah, this has definitely been vacant for a little bit. Got like some vases here. Again, like that stuff could have been donated, I guess. A little bit wasteful. All right, let's take a look at this. It's like sunken living room area. Nice fireplace. I'm excited to see the sunroom. We'll get to that in a minute. Very, very nice fireplace around here. some artwork. So maybe they had kids that did this. Well, that's cool. The old DVD player. That's awesome. It's really cool. I remember like my friends had these as a kid and I always thought they were so cool. It's like a mini like laptop that plays DVDs. I think yeah, there you go, and then that's where you put it. Pretty cool. <laughs> so let's take a look at it in the sunroom. So I imagine this is added maybe in like the 80s. Let's see if we can see a date on a window in here. But they had like a, what's this, like a ping pong table? Let's see if there's a date on this sliding door. 1999, what about the windows? Windows out of a date, yeah, so they probably added this room here in 99, that would make sense. Pretty simple sunroom, but it's, it's nice, it's very warm in here. Would have been a nice place to hang out at one point. We have a nice back deck there that we were looking at as well. So yeah, all the plywood fences here are so when they tear the house down, um, it, it like protects the trees and then it protects like, you know, like the debris and stuff from getting into like the woods where it'd be harder to clean up. And some family photos. I'm not going to show those too closely because that's somebody's personal information. Yeah, very nice little sunroom. Definitely would have been a nice place to hang out. Alright, so I think we'll head up here first. Nice aluminum ladder. It's too bad they, they didn't take that with them. Maybe next to the fireplace or something. I don't know. This goes out on the deck. Is that even locked? Yeah. I had to go around and lock a bunch of doors. Like every door in the house is left unlocked. I guess they just don't care because it's about to be demolished, but don't want like just a bunch of random people coming in here. Got some tools here even. Like some sockets. Oh wow, like most of it's still in there. I feel like the level there. Yeah, these are nice tools. Ratchet. Hmm. Too bad they left those. 
Then you have this kitchen here, which was definitely renovated maybe in the early 2000s. It's kind of what it's making me think of. So I imagine probably a dishwasher would have been there. I like how many windows there are in the kitchen. So much natural light. What are these? Some kind of like peppers or something? I don't know. But yeah. Very nice kitchen, I like it. All right, so I think that covers the main floor. So let's head upstairs and then we'll check out the basement. Oh wow, look at that light fixture. That's pretty cool. Let's take a closer look at it up there. But while we're here, let's look at this wrought iron banister. Nice. Don't know how old this would be. Don't know if it's original. Matches the light fixture. I don't know why they have like toilet paper all over it. Probably people just coming in and messing around. Okay, so here's another reason why I think this house is probably older. Look at this door handle. Does, does this not look like something you'd see in like, 40s or something, like especially this, the metal knob. I don't know, my grandparents' house is, was built in the 40s and it's got very similar hardware. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Could even be, you know what, like this could even be 30s possibly. I don't know, I'm, I think I'm gonna say 40s because that, that makes the most sense, right? Like, like the trim here, this, this seems very 40s to me. So we'll head, head in here. I have like this wood paneled room. I'm gonna say this was probably like a, an office in here cause I've seen like computers and stuff. Possible it could have been a bedroom, but yeah, like with all the paperwork and stuff, I'm gonna say it's probably an office. It's very old and outdated. I guess that's why they left them. Oh, it's even a, a phone there. Again, pretty old. Not really worth anything. Hmm. Interesting. I like. I like this room. bathroom here. Nice big mirror on the wall. Sink. Again, probably updated. Maybe in the 2000s. Another bedroom. This one's pretty big. Very large windows that look out into the trees in the backyard. That's nice. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be the key for some kind of car. 2015 Volkswagen. Hmm. Don't know why that's there. Again, you have the old style doorknob. Don't like the pink walls in here, but like it's a nice big room with tall ceilings. Even have some crown molding up there. Very like cheap new flooring in here, which I 
I'm a big fan of. So we have another bedroom here. Again, pretty big, nice big windows. So this is out in the front of the house. The columns and stuff. We're on a pretty main road. Got some like lottery tickets. Oh look, there's another laptop there. Wow. So they, they left a lot of stuff behind. Explore the solar system. Yeah, I remember like learning about this when I was a kid. I was always into that kind of stuff. Well, Hunger Games, that's a, that's one of my favorite books. <laughs> All right, so this area of the house, I'm pretty sure is above, like the original part of the garage there. Okay, we have another bathroom. Nice little bathroom. Shut that. Um, I think we'll go this way first. So yeah, yet another bedroom. I'm gonna say probably one of the larger ones on the other side, maybe the pink one would have been the master. Probably make the most sense. Unless if like this area was, like if this like whole thing was maybe. MacBook Air. Yeah, the box is empty. I don't think anybody would leave that behind. McMaster University. Okay, so we have like this shelf area. And then if we walk around, this is the second staircase that we were looking at earlier. So I think while we're already here, what we'll do is head down this staircase and then go over to the basement. So originally when this house was built back in the 40s or possibly even a bit older, I think that would have been the servant staircase. All right, we're gonna head down to the basement. Now, since there's separate doors here that go into the basement, I'm thinking maybe it was an apartment down here. Cause you'll see it's in a lot worse shape. Like they, they didn't care for it very well. And the rest of the house, it seems like they did an all right job, right? Yeah, like look at around that toilet. Like this, this has only been abandoned for like a year, maybe. That doesn't, that doesn't happen in a year, right? I don't even want to touch the shower to open it. I'm not. It's absolutely disgusting. Like, I don't know if they ever cleaned anything. You'll see in the kitchen too, like look at the oven. Like around the light switches. They're just the grease on like everything. I don't know how people can live like this. Look at that. It's disgusting. This door goes outside. This is like a basement entrance. Glass is completely shattered on that. Yeah, I, I can't spend too long down here, guys. We're gonna have to move a bit faster. Just that the smell is absolutely horrible. So yeah, obviously a bedroom here. There's the bed. 
That's not to code though, I don't think, with the, the window, tiny window like that. Like I could probably just barely fit through that. Maybe if you took both panes out. Sure left a lot of stuff. So yeah, I don't know if this was like an apartment or um, if the people that lived here just owned it. But like, you can really notice. Oh, jeez, that scared me. I stepped on, you know, these like um, bubble wrap things. Yeah, and it just popped. Nice fireplace. Looks like it's probably from like the sixties. stairs we came down. I think there's a couple more rooms. Okay, we have the laundry room here. Um, yeah, a lot of just like random garbage and stuff. What's this? Furnace room. So there's the furnace. I've got a lot of random stuff left behind here too. Gross. This is a computer computer box. Another creepy storage room. Oh, I'm getting cobwebs in my face. And that door up there goes outside. So yeah, I think I think that's it for the basement down here. So let's head back upstairs and we'll wrap this one up. guys so that's gonna be it for this one so i hope you guys enjoyed this place i know i did pretty cool house just randomly found it don't really know anything about it so let me know your opinion let me know what you guys think happened here why all this stuff's left behind so yeah thank you guys again for watching see you on the next adventure